Grimagat, Ciaran Corla. Taoiseach, we're now uh, four weeks out from the most important local and European elections for a generation, and housing is the number one talking point on the doors. It's the biggest issue by far for workers and families across the state. After 13 years of Fine Gael in government, the housing crisis has gone from bad to worse. Rip-off rents continue to rise, homelessness had, has hit record levels, an entire generation is locked out of home ownership due to the sky-high house prices. And on the watch of Fine Gael governments, housing affordability has been torn to shreds. A new report Taoiseach published by myhome.ie shows that nearly half of people are postponing buying a new home due to the cost of living. Your government's failure to deliver the, the affordable homes needed to rent and buy is at the heart of the problem. You've missed your affordable housing targets in each of the years since your so-called housing plan started. And in the last two years, not one not one affordable home to rent or buy was delivered by government in Dublin City. The same story for Galway, Kerry, Wexford, Donegal, Longford, Loud, Mayo, Sligo, Tipperary and I could go on. See, your government is very big on promises but very, very short on delivery. And to make matters worse, the homes delivered through what the government considers affordable housing schemes have price tags far beyond what ordinary workers can afford. I'll give you one example, a scheme in Clonburris in Clondalkin in Dublin, €425,000, that's close, close to half a million euro. It seems that's what you consider to be affordable. I think that's off the wall. Little wonder that you refused to say what you regarded as an affordable home because uh, if we're to go by these schemes, your answer is sky high. And it's no better, Taoiseach, when it comes to your scheme for affordable homes to rent. Let me give you another example, City West. Rents of close to 1,800 euros a month. Now, I don't know in what world that is deemed to be affordable rent. That's what renters are getting nonetheless from a government scheme. So they're ripped off by landlords, ripped off by government. The whole thing beggars belief. Taoiseach, your government's repeated failures and broken promises on affordable housing have real consequences for real families. Young people are stuck at home with their parents, unable to strike out on their own. Today, just over a quarter of 25 to 34-year-olds own their own home. That's down from 60% in 2004. 40% of people under the age of 34 still live in their family home. And I think that statistic alone should be enough for this government to pack their bags. You claim to be the party of home ownership, but the truth is that it has never been harder for people to buy their own home, and that is a direct result of government policy. In your speech to your parties, Zoridesh, you said that you would fix housing once and for all. Well, all three Tishi who have led this coalition government have made the same promise, and each time things got worse. So my simple question, Tishik, is this. Why is your government repeatedly breaking its promises and failing on affordable housing? Thank you, Deputy MacDonald. Tishik, well, thanks so much to Deputy MacDonald for raising what I agree is a really, really important issue in relation to housing. And I know when I go right across the country and when I engage with young people and I engage with their parents, uh, I know that for many people, home ownership can still feel uh, out of the reach of many. And we are working day and night to change that. We're working every single day uh, to make progress. And I'm very happy to report progress because we're now building homes at levels not seen since 2008. 
Every single week in this country now, 500 individuals or couples are buying their first home. And you, Deputy, as you travel around the country, as I see you do, you must see those homes. You must meet those young people who have their first home, homes that didn't exist uh, only months or years ago that are now in place uh, with family lives starting under them. We now have work on over 12,000 homes have started in the first quarter of this year alone. That figure is up 60% on the previous year. Over 12,000 homes started in the first couple of months uh, of 2024. And we know many people who are renting want to buy as well. So we're trying to put supports in place to help them with the cost of their rent. And that's why we put in place a renter's tax credit. It made a difference. It's why we've kept it. It's why we've increased it. It's why the three parties in government want to do even more to try and put a bit of money back uh, in the pocket of a renter so that it can help them meet the rent uh, and help them save for the deposit as well. We've also put in place a number of schemes, Deputy, that I hope you'll tell people that you're against. The Help to Buy scheme, the First Home scheme, the Vacancy Property a refurbishment grant, all practical ways to help people, each and every single one of them you have, in fairness to you, very honestly, committed to getting rid of. So I wonder what you say to the tens of thousands of people, more in fact, who've benefited from those schemes. I wonder what you say to their parents, who, when they watch their child leave the box room and buy a home because of the help of those schemes, and why you say that if you were Taoiseach next year, none of those schemes would be in place. We're already doing affordable homes, and there are affordable homes being offered right around this country, for as low as 225,000 in Waterford, 255,000 in Kilkenny, 300,000 in Dublin, when we apply the affordable purchase discount. Later this week, the Minister for Housing will make a further announcement in Dublin Fingal in relation to more affordable homes as well. Last year saw over 4,000 affordable homes delivered, up from 1,750 the previous year. We're on track for around 6,000 this year. So I know you believe for you to succeed politically, you need the country's housing policy to fail. But unfortunately, that's not the case. Every single metric now, in terms of supply, uh, in terms of schemes, in terms of targets, in terms of capacity, is making progress. But we know we have much more to do. Now, you asked me why I wouldn't give one specific figure as to what an affordable home was. And I gave a very honest answer in relation to that. It depends on the type of home. Uh, it depends on your own personal circumstances. It depends on what part of the country. I'd ask you, 139 days after you told the people of this country that you'd provide homes for €300,000 in Dublin, how you intend to do that. Because your private member's motion that will be debated in this House isn't that. Your private member's motion in this House talks about leasehold affordable schemes, where people won't actually ever own their own home. But again, maybe that's giving you an insight into the ideology of Sinn Féin when it comes to housing policy. And also, it doesn't talk about Dublin. It says it depends on where in the country the House will be. So will you admit 139 days later that you made a mistake, that you misspoke and then doubled down in relation to promising young people something that you've absolutely no intention of delivering? And when, finally, will you publish your all-encompassing housing plan to rival the Housing for All plan? So, uh, so thank you. I, I mentioned uh, a number of counties, Louth, Mayo, Sligo, Tipperary, I could have added Cavan, uh, Leitrim, Offaly, Roscommon, Sligo, I mentioned Sligo. And these are the official figures, an official record of your abysmal failure, mm -hmm. the failure of the state to deliver affordable homes to purchase and to rent. So by the targets that you set yourself, you have failed. It's a big fail. And I have never seen housing needs so desperate. And I happen to represent communities for whom a housing crisis is not actually a new crisis. Overcrowding, very poor living conditions uh, have been experienced generation after generation as it happens. But I have never seen anything as desperate as this. And what makes matters worse, it seems, is that we have a government that is utterly delusional. Either that or just deeply dishonest, because you are not delivering at pace and at scale the affordable homes that young people in particular and families more you, generally Deputy. need to purchase and very much. to buy. So I want to ask you again, Taoiseach, what changes now? You said you're sorting this out. What up, change Deputy do you make now to begin the process of sorting this out? Thank you. So it seems we're going to have to wait for day 140 to find out how the leader of Sinn Féin intends to deliver on her commitment given in the Irish Times that she will provide people in this capital city and county with homes of 300,000. Because your motion doesn't do it tonight. Your motion doesn't do it tonight. And promising people leasehold 
People don't want a leasehold. People want to be able to go out and buy their own homes. The people that you must be meeting across the country, that's what they tell me as well. The people in the box rooms, I'll tell you what we're delivering now. But you have a leader, she did well there for you. Just let me respond, thank you. We've already delivered 4,000 affordable homes. We've 21, we've 21 local authorities so far. We're on track for over 6,000 this year. I've shown you, and more importantly, shown the people at home who don't want to see you playing politics with a crisis, how we're continuing to make progress. You ask how we're going to fix it. I'll tell you how we're going to do it. We're going to deliver record supply this year. Already this year, we've seen more than 12,000 homes commence. Most people in this country welcome it. It seems to upset you. It seems to upset you because, and you've probably objected to a fair few, but there's 12,000 homes this year that have already been commenced. That is a good thing. It's a 60% increase on the previous year. Surely you'd welcome that. That coupled with schemes that help people buy their own home, which you oppose, keeping them in place, increasing our housing targets as we go through the year, delivering more supply, increasing our affordable home delivery. That's how you make a real difference, not just coming in here, you, identifying the problem and offering no real solutions beyond rhetoric. Deputy Ivana Bacci.